The Detroit Pistons have been historically garbage this season. They currently have 13 wins on the year and have clinched the worst record in franchise history. So today, we're going to be attempting to turn the worst NBA team into the best NBA team. Now, what does that mean? I want this squad to have the best record in the league and also win the ring in the same season. And obviously, that's going to take a lot of work. But we can't start making trades now. We got to simulate to the end of the season and then get to the off season where we can start making moves one of the few things i like about this team is the fact that we do have a good draft pick in this year's nba draft that'll definitely help us out and also we have some young talent otherwise we're kind of cooked i mean the pistons that they've lost a lot of basketball games right so i'm definitely gonna have my hands full in this rebuild hopefully we can get it started on the right note though by landing a top pick and we're gonna get the second overall pick in this year's draft i know that alexander Saar is like the number one guy in this draft at least from my draft knowledge i don't really know too much about the incoming prospects but i've heard that he's pretty hyped up so if we're gonna make a selection in this draft i want alexander Saar, which means that we'll have to move up to number one and it also means that jalen duran could potentially be expendable we might re-sign him and trade him down the line but for now i want to focus on moving up to that number one overall pick the memphis grizzlies were able to land it via the draft lottery and i'm just gonna throw them a bunch of second rounders and see if we eventually have a deal they want a 2026 first they'll give me vince williams sure i'm confident that we'll be good by 2026 so i'm not too worried about trading that pick and now we will be selecting first overall and we're gonna select alexander Saar. welcome to the squad so we're gonna have Saar run the five for us like i said we'll have to figure out what's next for jalen duran in just a second we definitely are gonna pick up the team option on duran though why wouldn't we and we're gonna let Evan Fournier go for sure 19 million for a 74 overall yeah man I'm good on that I want to get our offseason started by packaging together Jalen Duran and Isaiah Stewart I want Alexander Saar to be the guy at center from day one and with Duran in the way that's not going to be possible I really like this trade for Keegan Murray he's a young power forward who I think will progress pretty well maybe become an 85 86 overall or something like that and he can shoot the ball he can defend he's still on his rookie deal I feel like that was a no-brainer type of trade now i do also have to ask myself a couple other questions do i think that Jaden ivy is a guy who's going to progress well in the simulation i feel like he was doing well at the start of the year oh my gosh i gotta make sure my eyes aren't deceiving me damian lillard for this trade package I mean, I feel like I'd be out of my mind not to take this trade. Obviously, Damian Lillard isn't the type of guy we're really looking to build with as he's kind of older and we want young guys on this team. But like, I can flip Damian Lillard for somebody else who fits better like De'Aaron Fox, who's only 26 years old. That might be our move there. Yeah, man, let's go get Swiper. Welcome to the team. And another thing I wanted to check on this offseason is if Victor Wembenyama was untouchable for the San Antonio Spurs and he is not which means that I could potentially make a move for Vic come on man Victor Wembenyama and Cade Cunningham that's a fire duo now the Spurs don't have enough money to take on De'Aaron Fox's contract I was thinking he could be a centerpiece of this trade but instead we can maybe go with Keegan Murray that's obviously not going to be enough maybe I throw a Sar Thompson as well and I'd also be willing to throw in some draft picks we actually don't have too many draft picks to work with here yeah hold on for a second Victor we're, we're gonna come back and try and make a move for you in just a second but right now we simply do not have the draft assets we need but the spurs are offering me this crazy unprotected charlotte pick for vince williams so we're gonna do that and then i'm probably gonna use that charlotte pick in the Wembenyama trade package there's two first for marcus sasser we just took more picks from the spurs and i can also get a pick for sasha vizenkov and then we've got like chris duarte at the end of the rotation there goes another pick and there's a pick for troy brown jr and aj green even then though i'm not incredibly confident in my ability Ability to trade for Wembenyama so I'm gonna see if I can potentially trade some of my young guys for just some better young players like if I take a Saar Thompson and a couple of these random picks I have here right could I just get somebody who's young and maybe just a little bit more valuable than a Saar because I think that could help me as I try and trade for Wembenyama I like this trade for Ben Matherin and Miles Turner because I'm pretty confident we can trade Turner for somebody who's pretty valuable as well like if somebody could 
could just give me a decent young player or two really good picks. Yeah, we'll do that. That's our pick unprotected next year for Miles Turner. Okay, that works. And then we're going to take Keegan Murray, Ben Matherin, right? We're going to call up San Antonio. They're going to say no to this, but we have our pick next year. We have the Hornets pick next year. We've got the Knicks pick next year, and we've got the Hawks pick. They're still going to say no. I didn't want to have to do this, but if I have to, I will. Alexander Saar and Ben Matherin, they're still saying no. This trade might be impossible. I'll throw in Keegan too. Oh my gosh. One more pick. Okay, we did it. I, I just overpaid crazy. But we have Wembenyama, Cade, and Fox in San Antonio. Plus, we have cap space. I'm not even mad I did that. Welcome to Detroit, Victor Wembenyama. Okay, we're kind of cooking right now. I'm not going to extend the qualifying offer to any of these guys. They're just not too great with all due respect. I will swing Paul George a four-year. Why not? We have the cap space. Might as well try. He's not really going for that. I'll swing Tyrese Maxey an offer. He's restricted, so he probably won't take take it and i'll also send it off for pascal's way usually you can sign siakam pretty easily but it looks like he has his eyes on la so we're not even gonna land anybody via free agency that's pretty tragic i mean we could go after like an old harden or old DeRozan, but they're both gonna regress so bad d'lo wants 40 mil no no i'll give you 32 and that feels crazy he is gonna accept that though welcome to the squad d loading give me Ubre too on a three year do we have any more money left yeah we actually do we could sign Tyus Jones just picking up a couple solid role players to build the foundation for this team give me Luke Kennard why not he can knock down some threes actually I take that back I'd rather have uh, Andre Drum dang it somebody signed Drummond welcome to the squad Luke and then I guess we'll pick up some guys on some two-year minimums I was doing this yesterday in the 82 and 0 challenge and it was kind of overpowered because I was able to trade the guys who I signed to two-year minimum contracts and I basically just stacked up like a million draft picks so that was pretty fun to do all right so here's what the team's looking like we've got Vic we've got Cade we've got D Fox I signed all point guards nice one Danny I traded for De'Aaron Fox who was a PG right and I was thinking okay that's fine we can move Cade Cunningham over to the shooting guard position or maybe have Fox at the two guard something like that right but what I wasn't thinking about was the fact that I just went out and signed D'Angelo Russell as well well what was I doing and I signed Tyus Young Cade actually goes up to an 89 at the two so we can work with that and then we'll put D loading at the two guard off the bench this isn't the final team. This isn't the squad I'm expecting to win a championship by any means. I'm hoping we can at least be a playing team this year, and I probably will look to make some moves at the deadline in order to improve this squad because I actually want us to be good. We traded our pick unprotected this year in order to get Wembenyama, and I don't want that pick being in the draft lottery because, you know, that would kind of suck. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I skipped straight past the trade deadline. Um, that's my bad. It doesn't really matter though because, like, most of our important players are on multi year deals, so I can essentially just look at trading them in the offseason and we'll be all good and like i told y'all the main goal of this video is to be the one seed and win the championship have the best record in the league and there is no way we're doing that this season we would have to have a historical end of the year but this offseason we might be able to make the team good enough to where we can make a run at being the best team in the league and winning that ring so i'll see what i can do season is wrapped and it was not a bad year at all alexander Saar, i'm sorry you couldn't be a part of the team actually no i'm not you shot 30 38%! <laughs> you were a center shooting 38%. Victor Wembenyama won DPOY. Man, I'm not regretting the Wemby trade at all. He was doing his thing. First team in year two. Yeah, the Wemby trade was the right move. We won 49 games on the year, making us a playing team. I'm not too worried about these playoffs. We are going to make it in, though. I do want to check out the stats for the season before we jump into the playoffs. All right, so Wembenyama led the team in scoring. That's cool. Kay Cunningham was also great. Really good efficiency. We're going to have to sign him to a new deal this offseason. De'Aaron Fox, I mean, 16 a night. He wasn't playing crazy minutes. It's, I didn't really want to make the guys play in same minutes this year because I wasn't really too worried about winning games. So I just let the CPU do what they do in terms of the rotation. TJ Warren was low-key hooping, averaging like 10 points per game. Kelly Oubre is going to get traded. D'Lo is going to get traded. Their, their efficiency just wasn't good. Tyus Jones was actually really solid, and he's on a pretty team-friendly contract. So maybe we keep him around. We'll see how that goes. We're taking on Atlanta in round one. They're the two seed. How are the Hawks the two seed? I mean, it's basically just the Hawks. They brought 
brought back John Collins, the missing piece to the team, of course. And yeah, we got swept. Atlanta made the finals? They won the championship? Yeah, whatever, 2K. We won't have any picks in this year's draft, I don't think, because we traded like all of them to go get Wembenyama. Yeah, we've got a second rounder. Now we do have a couple of these guys we signed on minimums last year who I can look to move now. Montrez Harrell, thank you. I'm going to get a first round pick. We've also got Austin Rivers. No way a team gives me a pick for Austin. All right, let's go. ESPN legend, Austin Rivers. And we'll go ahead and trade Ricky Rubio. There's another first. Thanks, Ricky. Also, real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. We're trying to hit 40K. Thank y'all so much for all your support. It truly means a lot to me. Okay, so we're going to look at D-Lo trades this summer. He's making $34 million, and I just feel like his production is not worth that amount of money, with all due respect. And I'm looking through the trade finder. There's definitely some decent options. Like, Paul George is cool, but he's going to regress a lot. Zach Levine and Nurkic, not bad. You know, I could get Desmond Bain, but I feel like I can make my own trade that's better than that. Maybe we talk to the Pacers about Halliburton. He's listed as available. I'll add him to my target list. Ja Morant isn't untouchable as the Grizzlies are rebuilt. Yeah, yeah, we're going all in for Ja, man. I think we center the trade package around Swipa. I know I was talking about trying to trade D'Lo. Actually, we can start it off by trying with D'Lo, and if it doesn't work, then we'll try De'Aaron Fox. I've got a bunch of picks I can throw their way, including a Clippers pick that has a lot of value, apparently. We'll do all these picks. They're going to say no, as I would expect. So now we're going to try this same trade package, except with De'Aaron Fox. I might take off a couple picks just to see if we can get it done a little bit easier. We're going to throw another first, one more there. They're still going to say no. Okay, so it's not going to be easy to trade for John Morant here. We might have to go get a young piece we can throw in the trade since they are like a rebuilding team. Maybe we could trade De'Aaron Fox for somebody a little bit younger, or we could get the fifth pick and Lou Dort for D Fox. I'm not sure what the Grizzlies would be interested in in a trade package, so I'm kind of hesitant on all these moves. I think we're going to go for Isaiah Collier here, though. Collier is usually really good in the simulation. I know we just traded away a guy who was almost a 90 over overall for a 76 and we also got an 82 overall in CJ McCollum but I think we can probably flip McCollum for some more draft capital or we could trade for Paul George all right we might be cooking here we take Paul George throw him in the trade package right then we also take Isaiah Collier we call up the Memphis Grizzlies I'm not sure how much they're gonna value PG three and a half stars not bad at all Collier is a three star plus we still got a lot of picks we're gonna see if we can make something happen here now money wise we need to throw in another player to make it work financially and and that means throwing in Marcus Smart, which could make this a little more difficult. We'll, we'll see what we can do, though. Do all these picks, PG, Isaiah, Collier, they're going to say no. We're going to find a way to get this done, man. I'm not going to give up. How about we flip Paul George for Sabonis, who's a 90 overall, and we also get a first round pick, right? Then we take Sabonis in that first round pick, go in the trade finder again, and we get Bam out of bio. He's 27 years old. I think he would be of interest to a team that's rebuilding. We take Bam and Collier. Then we call it the Grizz about Ja. Okay, okay, I think we're cooking here. We take the New York Knicks pick. We've got the Hawks pick. We've got that Clippers pick with a lot of value. We have a pick via Houston. Yes! We just made a trade for John Moran. Come on, man. I forgot how much I love posting rebuilds on the channel, bro. Let me know any rebuild ideas you guys have because the feeling after you make a crazy trade, man, I, it's awesome. I can't lie. Speaking of crazy trades, do we do this one with San Antonio for the third pick? I think we're going to do this, all right? We get rid of D'Angelo Russell. We traded D'Lo and three other picks. We got that third pick and Keldon Johnson. And then what we're probably going to do is just just flip Keldon Johnson. We get Cam Johnson in a first, right? And then we take Cam Johnson. We trade him for Harrison Barnes in a first. Y'all see how this goes. Basically, I'm just trying to get as many picks as possible here. We got to replenish on picks because I just use so many of them to go out and get John Morant. But I mean, it's John Morant, you know, it's definitely worth it because now we have a core of Cade Cunningham, Victor Wembenyama, and John Morant. That is incredible. And there's definitely more potential to build upon what we have right now. And one way to do that is via the draft. We We've got this third overall pick. Bro, I should have traded up and got Cooper. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let's go trade finder. See if Cooper flag pops up. Because if, if y'all don't know about Cooper flag in 2K, oh my goodness. He is insane. So we're going to try and make him pop up. I'm not really sure exactly how you do this. There he is. Oh my gosh. We're building the dynasty, bro. We're building the dynasty. Get me out of this draft. I did all I needed to do. 
Welcome to the team, Cooper Flag. We're going to, of course, accept Victor Wembanyama's team option. We'll extend the qualifying offer Cade Cunningham's way. And we have a decision to make. Cade Cunningham is a great basketball player. Don't get me wrong. And I have enough money to bring him back. So you might be like, what's the decision, Danny? I don't understand. If I let him go and I trade somebody just to clear up a little bit of money, we could go after like Jason Tatum or Donovan Mitchell. All I would have to do is trade, wait, wait, if I trade Oubre and Tyus Jones, I think I would have enough money to go out and sign Jason Tatum and potentially bring back Cade Cunningham as well. So we're gonna trade Oubre, we get Walker Kessler, that's an elite big man to back up Wembenyama, so that's cool. Then we take Tyus Jones, throw him in the trade finder. I would take just some picks or something, I don't really care here. Sure, we'll do Noah Clowney in a first, and then we take Noah Clowney and just trade him for hopefully two first. There we go. Okay, so now we have a lot of money opened up, right? I'm gonna swing an offer to Jason Tatum. It'll even include a no trade clause. We're his number one offer. We're cooking. Oh my goodness. And then I'm also gonna swing an offer Donovan Mitchell's way, and we are also his number one offer. Okay. But even with all those moves I made to clear up the money, I still won't have enough to keep Cade Cunningham and sign Jason Tatum. Does it tell me how close I am here? I think we only need to clear up like 200K. All right, Walker Kessler, sorry. I really actually do not want to trade Walker. He's on a great value contract, but the issue is I just have to. If I want to build out this dynasty the way I'm envisioning, then I have to. We're going to go get some more picks. And now what I want to do is keep the cap hold on Cade Cunningham, sign Jason Tatum, right? And then just hope nobody swings an offer Cade Cunningham's way until we have Tatum. So we just secured Tatum, right? We still have the bird rights on Cade Cunningham. We swing him the max and he should accept that. Oh my goodness. I might be a genius. I might be a genius. And we still have some money left over. We could swing Mr. Baddies an offer. Ooh, John Isaac, go get a defensive specialist on the team. We'll give him like a three-year deal. Welcome to the team, Isaac. And then we're going to do the two-year minimums like I've been doing just so we can get more picks. We're stacked up on draft picks too. Oh my gosh. I I'm really happy with the way this rebuild is going, man. Wemben Yama's up to a 95 overall. We've got Ja, we've got Tatum, we've got Cade, Cooper Flag. The bench sucks. That's fine. We'll figure that out later on in the season, probably at the deadline. We'll make some moves to build out the bench. But do you even need a bench when you have Ja Morant, Victor Wembenyama, Cooper Flag, Cade Cunningham, Jason Tatum? Like, come on. I think this might be our year to become the best team in the entire league. I will be active at the trade deadline, try and build out the roster like I was talking about. But overall, I'm excited for this season. All right, so we're here in mid-January. We are 32-11, and 11, doing great stuff. But there is one team in the league that's better than us and of course it's the Oklahoma City Thunder they've got a significant gap on us too so we gotta lock in make some moves at this deadline to really build out our bench I don't want to trade anybody in the starting five because I mean look at the starting five you know what I mean but I would be willing to trade maybe like John Isaac Edmund Sumner in a first see if there's any guys out there that can improve this roster with that trade package I'm assuming it's not going to be anything crazy but like Zoo isn't bad at all we'll take him wait I just gave up a crazy pick Oh my gosh, Danny Lockin. I think they gave me a good pick back, but that was kind of stupid. See, this is the type of trade I'm looking for to fill out my bench. Marcus Smart and Gigi Jackson. There we go. Welcome to the team. I'm definitely going to keep Gigi around. He's young. He's going to come off our bench for Cooper Flag, I believe. Is that how the CPU is going to set it for us? We've had Gary Payton starting at small forward all year. Oh, it's because Cooper Flag and Tatum played the same position. I forgot to move Tatum to the three. All right, there we go. That's better. And then we take Marcus Smart and like a first round pick. I don't want to give up that really good Clippers pick, but like I would give up a random first rounder and see if I could get anybody here. Not really seeing any great offers, so maybe we do two picks and that changes. Yeah, give me Nas Reed and Peyton Pritchard. That's fine. We'll take that. And then is there any chance I can trade Nas Reed and a couple more first for some more bench depth? Yep, there's Robert Williams and Vince Williams Jr. And then I think y'all know where I'm going from here. We take Rob Will and a couple more first. See if there's any more depth I can get. Doesn't really look like it, so I'm gonna stop there. Our point guards are Ja and Peyton Pritchard. We don't really have a backup to whatever, I guess. But we've got Tatum and Vince Williams at the three, Gigi Jackson, Cooper Flag at the four, and then at center, we've got Wemby and Rob Will. Looks good to me. Let's get to the end of the season. Hopefully, we can become the number one team in the entire NBA. But the Thunder are gonna be tough to beat out in terms of record, especially.
especially because they're ahead of us and they're just always overpowered in the game at Suke. We'll see if we can do it though. Season is wrapped. Luka Doncic won MVP. Rob Dillingham won Rookie of the Year. Wemby Yama, DPOY. Wemby was named a second team this season and nobody else made All-NBA, probably just because we have so much talent. We won 66 games. Let's take a quick look at the power rankings. We were one game worse than the Thunder. Oh my gosh. They locked in the last two weeks of the season and went 7-0. and So we were not the best team in the league, but we're gonna get it next season. No way we don't get it next season. In the meantime though, let's try and get this championship. I really believe that the team can get it done this year. Round one, we're gonna be taking on the Washington Wizards. I'm not worried about them at all. We beat them in six. That was closer than I thought it would be. I'm also gonna change up the minutes. Usually 2K just doesn't have the stars playing a lot of minutes. Like, you know, the good players in the league play 36, 37, 38 minutes a night, right? But in 2K, they play maybe 33 or 32, which is really stupid. I feel like they definitely need to fix that in NBA 2K25. I've been talking about that quite a bit as of late, but it's kind of annoying to have to adjust the rotations after like every single roster move that the CPU makes when I'm doing simulations and stuff where I'm not rebuilding. But anyway, man, let me get off my tangent. We're taking on the Philadelphia 76ers in round two with Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid. They've also got Bronny running the point guard. We're up three to one on them and we beat them in five. Next up, it'll be the Toronto Raptors. Scotty Barnes and Sangoon. Okay, they picked up Alperen. That's a good pickup for them for sure, but not good enough. We sweep them. And in the finals, we got a battle against OKC. This is what I'm here for. I know they had the better record than us this season. Trust me. Next year, that's going to be our year to have a better record than them. And we're about to beat them in the finals this year anyway. They win game one. Okay. 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 See. All right, man. We're down three to one. We lost in five. I feel like our team was better. But you know what? I'm not even too worried about it because I know the team's going to get even better over the offseason. We're going to see progression. It's going to be great. I'm confident in the guys. We don't have any picks this summer, so we're just going to head straight to team player options. We're bringing back Wemby and Gigi. We have a mid-level exception for free agency. I guess I'll spend it on Monte Morris. Welcome to the team. Also, this offseason, I do want to move on from Gary Payton the second, just because some team will give me a pick for him. There we go. And then we'll just bring in some more guys on two-year minimum so that I can trade them later, just like I did with Gary Payton. And after player progression, oh my goodness, this team looks insane. Cooper Flag is up to an 84 overall. Cade's up to a 90. John Morant's a 95 still. Jason Tatum's up to a 96. I think he went up when I moved him to small forward. Wembenyama's up to a 90. 96 as well. We've also got a pretty solid bench with guys like Rob Will, Gigi Jackson, and Peyton Pritchard. And I think I can probably make a couple moves to improve the bench at the trade deadline. We did that last deadline and worked out pretty well. So hopefully we can do that once again. Let's get into this upcoming season. I want to be better than OKC and I want to beat them in the NBA finals. So that way we can call the Pistons the best team in the NBA. All right. So we're here at the deadline and we are 41 and nine playing absolutely incredible basketball. Now I got Gotta see what they're doing over in Oklahoma City. Oh, OKC fell off. They've only got 30 wins. Nobody's close to us right now. But just to make sure that we're better than everybody, I'm gonna make some moves to improve the bench. Rob Will, it's been cool having you around, but you're probably about to get traded, man. Yeah, give me Io and Corey Kispert. Kispert is on a one-year minimum, but it's whatever. I think this is gonna be our year that we're the best team and we win the chip anyway. And then can we maybe get better at backup PG, trade away Peyton Pritchard, get somebody else? He isn't a point guard, but Grayson Allen's pretty good, so I'm going to bring him in. Oh, I didn't really need him because we already have too many small forwards, but we can trade him for Cole Anthony, so that works. And then maybe if I could trade like Monte Morris and another player for like a backup five, that would work. We could trade Monte and Malik Beasley, get a center. There's Sam Merrill in a pick. We'll take him and hopefully I can trade Merrill for that five that I'm looking for. There's Andre Drummond. Perfect. Welcome to the team. This is what the rotation is looking like. I'm going to make sure our minutes are right and that all our stars are playing pretty significant time. We'll give Wembenyama 39 minutes a night. We'll give Kate Cunningham like 36. We'll give Jason Tatum probably about 38. We'll give John Morant 38 as well. And then I want to throw Cooper Flag at least like 30 something. Yeah, that works. 33 minutes for Flag. I think the rotation looks really good. Let's get to the postseason where I'm pretty confident we're going to win the NBA title. Wembenyama wins MVP. Wemby also won DPOY. Wemby was on first team, of course. I mean, he was the MVP. John Morant ends up making second team. Alexander Sars on third team. He's only an 82. Oh, I'm so glad I traded him. We won 
66 games on the year, which I believe made us the number one team in the entire NBA. Yes, it did by far too. Let's get into the NBA playoffs in round one. We're going to be taking on the Atlanta Hawks and we sweep them. Round two, it'll be the Charlotte Hornets. We're tied up at two apiece. We'll win game five and we're headed to a game seven. Oh, the Hornets picked up D Mitch. I like that pickup for him for sure. I still don't feel like they're good enough to beat us though. We've got the star power. We've got the depth and it looks like that's going to prevail in game seven. We've got a big lead headed into the fourth quarter and we're going to close it out. Wembenyama, 34 and 15. That's what I'm talking about. Next up, it'll be Indiana. They've got Halley. They picked up Asar Thompson. Not bad. Oh yeah, we traded them Asar Thompson, but I think we can take care of them. Game one will go to us. We also win game two and three and we're going to sweep them. We're in the NBA finals for our rematch against OKC. I wouldn't have it any other way. This is exactly what I wanted. In my opinion, our team is way better, but I know how it goes in 2K. This Thunder team could very well give us problems. Game one's going to go to us. We also win game two. They're going to take game three. We win game four. And the Detroit Pistons are NBA champions. We went from the worst team in the league to the best team in the league in just a few seasons. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.